How you doing? I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to work with two mono files and treat them as a stereo file in Reaper. So I have two files here, overhead left and overhead right. If we drag them into Reaper like this, it gives us two options. Put them on separate tracks or on a single track. Now if we put them on a single track, it's going to put them one after another. That's not really what we want. We want to create one stereo track. And if we put them on separate tracks, we're going to have two mono tracks, which is again, not what we want. We want one stereo track. So let's choose this one. And here's what we have. Two mono tracks, both panned in the center. Now what you could do is pan one left, the other right, and then render this as a stereo file and bring that into Reaper on one track. But that takes a lot of time and it's kind of clumsy. A better way of doing it, let's put it back in the middle, is to go to our options up here and make sure we turn off trim content behind media items when editing. We have to turn that off for this, but we could turn it back on afterwards. And also, we don't have to do this, but it makes it easier to see is turning on show overlapping media items in lanes. Let's turn that on for now. And now because we turned off trim content behind media items when editing, we can put this item right on top of this item and it's not gonna delete it. Both items are now on the same track and they'll play at the same time as long as we do this part. Right click the first one and choose item properties. Go to item mix behavior and switch this to items always mix. Now you don't always have to do this depending on your default, the default item mix behavior, but just in case, switch it to items always mix. Then pan this one to the left. Hit OK. Now we'll do the same thing to the right channel. Switch this to items always mix, pan it to the right channel, hit OK. Now these two items are going to play at the same time. They're going to mix together. Notice there's two channels. Mute this one. We only hear the right. Mute this one. We hear the left. So now what we have to do, select them both, group them, group items. Now they're locked together. So they can be treated as a stereo file. We can edit them, bring them back out, move them around. Anything you do with a stereo file, we could do with these files grouped together. And that's pretty much it. That's working with dual mono or two mono tracks and treating them as stereo in Reaper. This is Kenny Joya for Kenny Mania. I hope you learned something, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mm -hmm.